What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. In the previous episodes we had done all kinds of stuff, but today we are going out on a pirate hunt. I think we're going to try and nail down in the next couple episodes, if you're trying to play this game at at least a passable level, you want to start setting goals for yourself and things to complete. And so ultimately we have to take out all the named pilot pirates if we want to make a ton of money. I almost said pilots, but this is not a World War II game. We will not be running around going bucka 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 out the back of a Mustang. Nope. We will be looking for pirates and I've got to switch my mindset. I got to take the switch, flip it on over. All right, so it's been flipped. We also know where the Marquis de Montalban is and we need to fight him before we turn like 25. We really sincerely need to kind of handle that. We're 22, the game only goes until you're 40, and by that point you'll be so decrepit that you won't be able to fight him anymore because people during this time period rarely live past their middle 20s. So we've kind of got things that we need to accomplish before we get much older, and so in that vein, I think what we're going to do, we've got Blackbeard's treasure here, but unfortunately I think Margarita's probably like right here. I've been looking for this, you see this little curve right here on the bottom of that letter? I was looking for that in the font, but I can't seem to locate it, at least not in these letters. So we know that that's not Margarita right there, because Margarita does not have that little swooshy blue thing, right? That's that's a technical linguistic term, a swooshy blue. Nonetheless, I think the thing that we're going to do, let's go to the world map and I'll kind of chart it out for you. So what you want to do is if you take a look at the map, all of the named pirates are going to be here, up here, and then between here and here and then finally running this length right here and so I think what we want to do is we want to hit the grand behind we want to hit the we want to hit this area over here with like Cuba and Haiti and basically we're gonna be setting out from here going north we're probably gonna hit Petit Guave or however you say that, I apologize for my enunciation, by the way, or pronunciation. We also need to find Jesuit missions. If we can get ourselves a pardon with the Spanish, it'll make our lives a lot easier. Unfortunately, there's no Jesuit missions up here that are becoming apparent to me. Oh, San Giles. Okay, so we might be able to get there. And that'll only be if they'll send to Habana, though. So I think what we'll do is we're just going to sail north. And so this may not be an episode in which we plunder a whole lot of stuff. But on the positive side, this could be an episode in which we kill a whole lot of other notorious pirates and make a ton of money. The reason for doing so is because if you can get about 3,000 gold per crew member, you can actually stay happy in perpetuity. Like, nothing bad will ever happen. You can just stay a badass forever. Probably attack some pirate raiders, too. Because I can. Why not? Especially if they just raided somebody. If they just raided somebody, we're in even better shape. Put a little bit of grape shot on them, but we'll do the same thing that we always do and just ram fools. That's that's what you do in this game. You ram fools. We'll go with the long sword. He's going to take a shot at me. I forgot to mention we got a pistol when I went to the tavern down in Rio de la Hacha. Oh, that's right. I was trying to do this with the numpad, wasn't I? All right. Well, let's knock him down off the deck. He has now gone down the stairs, fallen down the apples, depending on whether you're crockney or not. And we'll take him out right there. Oh, and good. He had been plundering to a certain extent. Not really a ton, but he had been plundering. And so now we got ourselves a new ship. I'm going to try and get ahead of this storm, although I can't promise that we'll be able to outrun it. We're not going to fight with him. We probably should, just to keep people a little bit happier, but... Let's see here. What's my best cut that I can do? We need to get up into this area right here. And if we can do that, we're in really, really good shape. Ah, well. We'll keep an eye out for Spanish prizes to pluck while we're up in this area. We haven't gotten Blackbeard's treasure yet, which is a little bit disappointing, but it can't really be helped because we're missing that one little piece. And I'm not so sure where it is around Margarita. And we don't have any, as far as I know anyways, we don't have any ocean markers. So what you're looking for are ocean markers. Like there would be something like Donovan's skull or something out here in the water. With that, you would be able to decipher where it's at just in the vicinity of Margarita. You would go until you find that little sea marker. But since we don't have that, oh good, it's prosperous now. I think before when we came here, it was poor. It was very poorly, and so... Eh, we didn't get our promotion to governor. Let's go ahead and check in over here with this guy. Okay, he wants to talk about Puerto Principe. And 
Mont Alban, which is the guy that we're looking for. Like, he's the dude from the beginning of the game that we're totally, like, indebted to and, like, who took out our entire family. He is the guy that we are trying to annihilate. And so, he's up there in Florida somewhere, just hanging out, enjoying the sunlight. Damn it. Oh, and he's headed for Santiago. We may save ourselves a little bit of time here. Ooh. That is an interesting change. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell off some of the tonnage of our gold and luxuries. And then we'll sell off the remainder as spice. I know we're selling low, but I mean, I just can't be carrying around this many ships. We have so many ships just up in our business. Let's see here. We'll probably sell the Brigantine Treasure Galleon. I'll probably sell you. Sell you. And if we get rid of five tons, huh? Ah, oh, well, we don't have five tons to get rid of. So let's set sail, and I can't promise this duel is going to go well with Montel Bond because he's actually very, very difficult, especially if you have like old man reflexes like I do. My reflexes are terrible. I prefer that they would be well greased like butter, but they are not. They are not well greased at all. It's kind of like this weird sandy mucus type thing that they've got going on. It's bad. It's really, really bad. So unfortunately, there's a new warship right there. We could take that. Is that Santiago? It is. Okay. So now all we really 100% need to do is figure out if he's coming from... Ooh, I wish I knew from St. Augustine if he's going to cut around there and come back this way or if he's going to go down this way. If I knew, we could head him off this way and take out a bunch of the named pirates too. I still... I think it might be a better plan just to kind of circle this area cause trouble for a little bit for some of the natives and for some of the locals and up until things get even more raw let's kind of hang tight he's gonna flip around and go straight back to port is he now ah well we're into the wind again they are putting out a lot of trade galleons from Santiago I think we need to hit them once they're a little bit further out, like right here, so that we can avoid the pirate hunters. We'll hit them right here, and then we'll go straight after them. We're not going to be getting a whole lot of reputation. Like, as long as you're a privateer, all factions will give you some little bit of happiness. Oh, how did I get pegged by that? I'm not paying attention. So every faction will give you some little modicum or iota of happiness when you wipe out somebody from an opposing faction. But really, to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to capturing ships, you 100% want to be taking things that are at war with the faction that you want to be endearing yourself to. Go ahead and keep going here. Ooh, barely dodged that one, but I'm going to have to take a step back here. And off the ship. Enjoy your swim in the lovely blue sea. He set sail from 71 days ago. That means he's probably got to be close. Let's jump off the remainder of our goodies over here. Oh, we have a favorable wind for once. How often does that happen in this game? Not very frequently. So since we have a favorable wind... Sort of. Oh, it's shifting on us right this second. The moment that I noticed it, they decided to shift it. Damn it. Sometimes I think the game looks at the direction you need to travel and puts the wind perfectly against that direction so that you have to waste your time in the doldrums. In fact, if there's one thing I say that I hate about this game, it's the wind. I wish this screen right here, you just didn't have to deal with wind because, I don't know, a lot of times you end up like this where you're going like maybe a half a mile an hour. Just like, well, I know this is a part of old sailing, but still, it's boring and it's unpleasant. And so, the quest for good game design should always eliminate something that's boring and unpleasant just for the sake of being boring and unpleasant. Alright, so we'll hit here. We will drop off. Let's see. Got tons and tons of spice to get rid of. We've also got quite a bit of sugar. I don't know if he's going to have the gold. No, he's not. So we're going to be carrying around some sugar with us, unfortunately. But this will allow us to get rid of... Let's repair our ship. Take triple hammocks as always. We'll get rid of two of those and we'll keep the treasure galleon so that we have something to carry all of our loot in. At which point we'll talk to the governor. Still not going to make us the next rank up. And so let's sail back and see if we can get our hands dirty with Montel Bond. I know that I said I was going to do something different during this episode. But I may have to go back on our deal because... Montel Bond being in Santiago might be too good. It might be too long. The fruit may lay too low for me not to take it. 
it might just be far too low. The other possibility is that we waste a ton of time just like sitting here doing nothing. That's the other thing. Because with 71 days... That means he's still not here after 71 days. That's pretty bad. What is that, a treasure ship? Let me see if we can cut off this treasure ship while we wait. Although, I'm not sure it's going to happen. If I can get kind of catacorner to the wind, we might be okay. Come on. Treasure ship. There we go. So now we got the treasure ship. And I may be able to keep around behind him so that he can't come to bear with me. Maybe? Or is he cutting it too hard right now? He's cutting it pretty hard. And did we get the treasure ship or did we get the little escort ship? I think we got the treasure ship. Because it's got 192 men, which is a lot of men on board. They must be just elbow to elbow and shoulder to shoulder. Be like, where are you sleeping tonight? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about using Jeff as a pillow. It seems as though Tom might make a good foot rest. And what do we... Oh, it looks like we got a good one. We got 3,000 gold out of that bastard. Nice. We will take the cargo. And then we hang out right here just watching out for Montel Bon. Looks like we got that Sloop of War too, the Medea. Well, let's go ahead and take that too, because we are in a position of power to do so. The strong did what they could, and the weak suffered what they must. No, and I just suffered a cannonball to the face. What does that say about my position in this overall equation? Come on. To the fight, my friends. Also, off of my balcony, I'd like to keep it clear of refuse and trash. And into the fire with him, Montel Bonas from... So after almost a half year, he's still not down here. That's concerning. That's very concerning. Let's go ahead and we'll ditch some of these goods and we'll come back. I don't know if maybe... It's hard to tell what may have happened to Montel Bon along the way. Either way, if he's not here in 170 days, he's not here. So let's go ahead and we're just going to wait for a favorable wind. And we'll take that crosswind right there. We're just going to wait until this changes directions. It looks like we've got a slight change in direction right there that'll allow us to get a bit closer. Oh, it's trying to sabotage us. Sabatua. But that's fine. We have defeated the wind. Natural forces have decided to bow down before us because we're just that impressive. They're like, whoa, we don't want none of that cannon heat. We don't want none of them heaters. Oh, there it is. We'll trade off some of this stuff. Ah, the lovely, delicious sound of trading in luxuries for lots and lots of money. Bankrupting that merchant because we can. Gabana? Still not a baron. Still not a baron. I'm thinking, oh good, Blackbeard's map. Let's take that. Yeah, so see, it's not even near Margarita. So Margarita's not even on the map with it, so that's one of the unfortunate maps that we could have gotten. Southeast of Margarita with Black Point right there. We'll go get that in one of the upcoming episodes. We need a few more men right here. We'll go to the shipwright. We'll ditch some of, some of these little ships here. Unfortunately, we're going to need a lot of the treasure ships. And so let's head back down and we'll keep an eye on Santiago. If they keep spitting out those treasure ships, I don't think we'll have any problem keeping morale up anyways. It should be okay. Basically, what's going to happen now, and so if I'm going to take this down to its constituent parts, after we take out Montel Bon, what he's going to do is he's going to give us another map, which goes to his hideout. And so we may have to take out Montel Bon a couple of times before we actually get enough of the map to find his location. It really sort of depends on RNG and where the cookie crumbles there. Where the hell is Montel Bon? It's been like a half a year. We are wasting some time here. It's almost worth taking a gamble and going over top side right here. I'm willing to bet he's taking so long because he hit this spot right here and he's going down the coast with all of these westward winds. If I, if we had to take a wager, I think that's what I would hold out for, but I can't promise it. Let's go ahead and let's gamble. We'll live on the edge for a little bit because I don't want to be a passive contender in all this. We really do want to go out there and hunt him if he's not going to show up at Santiago. If it turns out that he ends up somewhere else, well, then so be it, but we need to hunt ourselves some other pirates, and so... What's that? That's an English Indian man. 
a merchant man. Okay, so they've got a different name for their ship. I think the Dutch have Indiamans. Ah, there he is. There's Montel Bon. And so this is actually a pretty tough fight. And so I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally do. And I'm going to save before we take this thing on. Because you lose everything if you lose to Montel Bon. Like, it's really, really bad. I think I could take him on his ship. But he's fast. As you'll all see very, very shortly. He is... He's quick. He's real quick. I'm going to try and avoid... Oh my god, we are getting shredded. He's got so many guns, though. You can see that his galleon has 40 guns on it. Oh, and the wind shifted on us. Let's say, what just happened there? The wind shifted on us hard. All right, so we're going to go with a rapier. Sometimes... Oh, hell. Sometimes, I mean, some people, what they like to do is slow him down a little bit where you will like soak his hits ah that upper he's getting me with that chop I'm gonna have to take him out ah alright so he's up the stairs now and it's only gonna get worse we're running out of pirates so I really need to like get on my A game there we go and so off the ship he goes we were running out of pirates so we had to take him out like right this second the evil Marquis falls over the railing and disappears among the papers in his cabin as a fragment of a map showing the location of his secret hideout deep in Indian territory. And so there it is. We actually got a pretty bad map, so we are going to have to hunt Montalban again, unfortunately. Luckily, Montalban is rich as hell, and so you get a whole bunch of gold out of him. We will lose fleet speed if we take this. However, his flag galleon is pretty valuable. I think I'm going to keep her, and then what we'll do, let's go ahead and about face. I mean, I know we are getting shot up pretty aggressively by some of these random Spanish ships around us, but what we need to do right now is actually put into port here somewhere. Oh my god, we are just having to stop shooting me, you dick. You can't dodge those, by the way. You just sort of get hit by them. And we'll go down to Lolita. That's being awfully aggressive for an immigrant ship. Like, it's just like following us and shooting us. Having captured Montel Bon one time, you've now seen how difficult his dueling is. It does not get any easier. It stays at that level, so you want to be very, very careful about the way that you engage him because you risk losing everything every single time you do it. So had we lost to Montel Bon right there, he would have taken all of our money, like all of our ships. It would have been really, really bad. Let's repair our ship because we are incredibly damaged at the moment we took the terrible which is a flag galleon which is totally fitted out and badass however on rogue difficulty the flag galleon is a bit too slow for what we're trying to go for ideally you want a ship with about a hundred men on it oh wow okay a mysterious traveler offers to sell you perfectly balanced swords yeah that's a lot of money but We'll take it because that's one of the premier items in the game that you really have to have. That's the second upgrade to your fencing kit, which makes you incredibly fast. Now, some people like to fight Montel Bomb with the Cutlass. I am not such a fan of that strategy. I think that you should probably just stick with the Rapier because a lot of the time I have a ton of problems just hitting Montel Bon. I was hoping we'd be able to pick up pirates right there. Unfortunately, our pickup lines were weak. So. You know, you do the best that you can at the Pirate Tavern, but sometimes they just aren't feeling your game. The game is weak. Game recognizes game, and you start looking real unfamiliar. Let's go over to Richtumstad, or Richtumstad, or however you want to say it. I'm not going to attack the immigrant ship because there's no point. Even though he attacked us, we are going to be the bigger man. So it's 69 crew. Wow, we are really low on crew. Our crew numbers are quite horrific right now. We lost a lot in that fight. And we just can't get a favorable wind either. It is not loving us right now. Go to the tavern. Talk to everybody here. The potro. The potro. It. Not really interested in that. Not interested in the information from St. Martin either. I would say to get rid of one of these. We'll fix these up. <laughs> And does the merchant even have any money? Sometimes the merchant doesn't even have any cash, so it's just like, well, who cares? Okay, and so before we go on our giant adventure to go capture pirates, what we're going to do... Oh, a Jesuit mission. 
Yeah, let's put in at the Jesuit mission real fast. I believe you have an uncle who has been missing for many years. Oh, Baron Raimondo is in St. Augustine still. Okay, so they helped me out. You usually get something beneficial whenever you go to meet up with the Jesuits, so you might as well do it every now and again. Like, if you're going past one in the first place, meh. Why not swing through and see what you can kind of glean from the situation? Oh, good, this is prosperous up here, too. I could capture a Spanish warship. What's the status of the world right now? Everybody's at war with everybody. That's good for us. Very, very good for us. If we could ever put in at port. Come on. That one's a war galleon. That one's a fast galleon. I've heard the fast galleons are pretty good, but I think the frigates are pretty decent, too. I usually just stick with the sloops out of habit from playing on higher difficulties, but... Grab a couple more men there, which surprisingly does not bring the police in on us. The Fama is going to Santiago with over a thousand gold. St. Kitts wants spice. But fortunately, we don't have time to go to St. Kitts, so I'm just going to unload here. I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of food for the future. And just keep unloading spice because we are going to be actively adventuring up and around. I'll get rid of the guns too at the price of free because I don't really care. Oh, never mind. I thought they were zero gold. I don't know why my eye turned that into a zero. That's very clearly a two. We'll give her a ruby ring. A 3,000 gold reward is being offered for a criminal in St. Kitts. Okay, that's fine. We might go back over there in the next little bit. And the Terrible. It's a pretty good ship. It's a pretty good ship. But I think I would rather just... Ooh, we can take... Yeah, let's get copper plating here. That'll help out a little bit. And so now you can see that the color of our ship has changed slightly. I think I'm going to get rid of the flag galleon. It's just too slow. It's not fast enough for me. Yeah, and it's worth a lot of money. And so we will start off to the west. I'm going to break the episode off here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. In the next episode, we will hopefully get down in Pirate Town, taking out some of the named pirates that will be hiding around this area. I can't guarantee that it will go one way or the other because sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. That's just the nature of pirate hunting while you're out here. However, we do have a favorable win for a little bit. And so I'm hoping we'll come across somebody up here, whether it's La Olonai or whether, you know, it's Henry Morgan or whoever. We definitely want to be hitting this little area in here. There's no way to tell exactly where they're at, but hopefully we'll find them. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi do.